chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall study the concept of the factorization of quadratic expressions this is of such an importance that almost all exams they have directly or indirectly questions that require you to have good skills of factorization of quadratic expressions today i will put the whole thing in black and white so that once for all you understand everything related to the factorization of quadratic expressions so if you are not aware of the quadratic expression the general form of a quadratic expression is ax square plus bx plus c this is the quadratic expression it is called quadratic or a polynomial in degree 2 polynomial expression in degree 2 one and the same thing degree 2 or quadratic is one and the same thing similarly a polynomial of degree 1 degree 1 is called linear so it is also called linear any polynomial in degree 1 is called linear any polynomial in degree is called quadratic so those of you are those of you who are still not aware this is of degree 2 because the highest power in this expression is 2 ax square this is the highest power so it is called a quadratic expression in degree 2 the objective is to understand how this expression can be expressed as a product of two other expressions each of which has a degree 1 so for example we will see how we can split it how we can write ax plus bx plus c so that it is of the form mx plus n multiplied by px plus q this is one linear factor in degree 1 this is another linear factor in degree 1 so how we can write this quadratic expression how we can split this expression into two linear factors the product of which is equal to the value of this quadratic expression there are various methods of doing this and they have shortcomings they have benefits so i'll summarize i'll explain each of the method today and we will also discuss how we can determine whether a quadratic expression is factorizable at all sometimes a quadratic expression cannot be factored so that also we need to know we need to know it because in case a quadratic expression is not factorizable then there is no point in trying to factorize it so that test is also required we'll discuss the test of factorizability and we'll also see the various methods of factorizing a quadratic polynomial let us start with our first technique the first technique is with the help of an identity that all of us are all aware x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus bx plus ab so this identity is used for factorization of quadratic polynomials but this is for the special case where where coefficient of x square is equal to 1 so this is only working in the case where coefficient of x square is 1 for example if we have to factorize an expression of this type x square plus 5x plus 6 then this can be factorized if it is possible to factorize it it can be factorized by using this technique 
because the the coefficient of x square is 1 but if we were to factorize an expression like this 6x square plus 2x plus 3 then it cannot be factorized by using this technique because the coefficient of x square is 6. Although we can fit it into this format maybe by taking out 6 common but that usually complicates the matters because these values they turn into fractions. For example in this case it will turn into x square plus x by 3 plus 1 by 2 so this complicates the matter so best of all you should actually try to examine the coefficient of x square if it falls in the category of 1 then we can use this technique and let us see how to use this technique. So let us take suppose we have to factorize x square plus 5x plus 6. So in this case what you should do is find two numbers two numbers whose product whose product is 6 this one the free fact the free number and at the same time the sum should be the sum should be 5 the middle term the coefficient of the middle term so in this case as we can see a plus b is coming in place of 5 it is sum of a and b and 6 is coming in place of a b which is the product of a and b so if I write it like this I am just explaining to you but in your exam you might not go through this longer process of writing these equalities there you can simply use the shortcuts but for purposes of explanation these two are to be seen from an identical similar angle so if I can split this 5 into a and b and 6 into a b then my factors can be easily found out so let us make a guess or trial so this one is very much required a guess or trial so by trial we see that such numbers are 2 and 3 because 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 so 5 is expressed as sum of 2 and 3 6 is expressed as a product of 2 and 3 so now we can see that this expression can now be written as x square plus 2 plus 3 x plus 2 into 3 it has been cast into this form and now we know from the identity that the factors of this are same as x plus 2 into x plus 3 so this is put into this form and we see that by identity this is exactly same as x plus a into x plus b so we were easily able to factorize it into x plus 2 into x plus 3 so once you can find out two numbers then you can simply orally also write it as x plus a into x plus b let us take some more examples on technique 1 suppose we have to factorize x square minus 5x plus 6 so first of all we observe that the coefficient of x is 1 so we can make use of our first technique now two numbers two numbers would be minus 2 and minus 3 because minus 2 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 5 and minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to plus 6 so by observation we saw that two such numbers are minus 2 and minus 3 which will add to minus 5 and multiply to 6 
they will add to the middle term and multiply to the last free term. So we can orally write it like this x plus minus 2 and x plus minus 3 x plus a into x plus b. So we can open these and write it as x minus 2 and this can be written as x minus 3. So this is how we can very quickly factorize a quadratic into two parts. Take another example. Factorize x square plus 13x plus 30. So this has to be factorized. We see that the coefficient of x is 1. So we can make use of the identity x plus a into x plus b. So in this case we have to find out two numbers whose sum is 13 and product is 30. So that's an interesting guess. So as far as I can see it should be 3 plus 10 is equal to 13 and 3 multiplied by 10 is equal to 30. So this is what we can see that 3 and 10 are those two numbers which will add to 13 and multiply to 30. So we can write the factors quickly as x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 10. So this is what is our factorization. So I will summarize for you the step 1. So first of all find a and b according to that rule and second step quickly and blindly write and blindly write without doing anything x plus a into x plus b. So this is the fastest method that can be used to factorize a quadratic but its limitation is that the coefficient of x square has to be 1. Now if coefficient of x square is not 1 then we will make use of our second method. Let me move on to our second method. This second method is of splitting splitting the middle term. This method is the most general method and it applies to all cases. All cases means whether the coefficient of x square is 1 or not 1, this method will be useful, can be used to solve all types of questions whether the coefficient of x square is 1 or it is not 1. To keep the thing simple, let me try to show you how to use this method if the coefficient of x square is 1. Suppose we have to factorize x square plus 3x plus 2. Suppose we have to factorize this. This time we will not use the identity but we will make use of the second technique called splitting the middle term. In this technique also you have to find two numbers two numbers whose product is whose product is equal to the free term multiplied by coefficient of x square. So free term is 2 in this case and coefficient of x square happens to be 1. So we have to find two numbers whose product is 2 multiplied by 1 equal to 2. This is one we have to find and at the same time whose sum should be whose sum should be equal to the middle term. So this second condition is same as that was found in the method 1 of identity. When you have a as given then you have to find out a number which satisfies the product. So middle term would be 3 in this case. 
So our guess is guess is 1 and 2. This is what we can see. 1 and 2 will add to 3 and they will multiply to 2. So I'll write it. I am explaining. So I'll write each and everything because 1 into 2 is same as 2 multiplied by 1 which is A into C and 1 plus 2 is same as B. So this is what is the summary point till this point. Once you find these two numbers then then you have to write this expression like this. Whatever is with x square let it be there. Just split the middle term. Splitting the middle term. Just split the middle term. So it will be split into what? x plus 2x plus 2. This order is not important. You can split it as 2x plus x or x plus 2x that is up to you. So just split the middle term. Don't do anything with this and don't do anything with this. Next what we'll do is group this one here and take this term with this other one. So the first part is grouped into the first part and the second part is grouped into the com into the third constant term or the free term. So we'll write it as x square plus x plus 2x plus 2. So to explain the things better, I'll just write this whole thing in this free space. So what I have at present is x square plus x plus 2x plus 2. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll always be able to take out common here. So in this case I am seeing x is common. So I'll write it as x plus 1 plus what is common in this case? 2 is common. So I'll write it as x plus 1. Note that when you take out commons in this way, one of the multipliers will be common in the whole thing. That will always be there. So in this case we can write it as x plus 2 take it to one bracket and this common can be fitted as one common. So this is the factorization. A bit long but if you have familiarity with the questions of this type then it doesn't take even 5 seconds. Let us take more examples on this type too.